Hey guys, Windows ATM Hacks here in part 2. Now I'm going to be showing you the store app. As you see to the top right, I have updates. Just click it to see what apps have to be updated. It said I had 3, but I have 11. You can click on any of the apps to unselect the apps that you don't want to be updated, and the same to select them. You can use the clear to unselect all the updates and select all for selecting them all. Just click install to update your apps. If you go back to the start screen, they will still work in the background. If you go back to store home, it will show you what apps are still updating. As you see, there are groups and when you click on the group name it will show you all the apps in that category if you click on spotlight it will show you a few suggested apps that you can start with just like in the start screen, there is a bar at the bottom to scroll with, and semantic zoom is in store as well. As you see, there are a lot of categories in store. If you right click, you will see home to go to the store home screen, which we are already there and your apps and you will need to sign in to your Windows Live ID under the categories you will see top free and new releases you can sort by all prices free and paid or noteworthy newest highest rating and more there are a few apps that you can install I'm going to be looking at Metro Twit the install button is right there and the permission to use is right here if you click to view all, it will show you to the right, and at the top you will see reviews. can take a look at what people said about the app. At the bottom of the image it shows you how many images there are, and to the right of the image you can take a look at the other images by clicking on the arrow. To the left there is an arrow to navigate back. If you scroll down there are more details there. You can search the store from the charm bar just like before. If you go to settings and store, you can manage your account preferences and look at app updates too. Now let's go to the desktop. There is an icon to get to it. You can do the same things as you can in Windows 7. If you go to the charm bar again, 
you can search and it will bring you back to the start screen and you can't share anything from here and when you're in settings you can go to control panel from here and PC info and when you click on personalization it will show you your themes When you click on Get More Themes Online, it will bring you to the Microsoft Theme website. Right now, it just shows Windows 7 themes because I'm recording this before October 26th. There is a lot that you can select from. And when you look at PC info from the charm bar, it will show you the important information about your computer. You can see the new logo and the new rating image. You can still pin things to the taskbar just like in Windows 7. can just slide the icon around to organize it. If you open IE10 and go to Google, and just drag and drop the tab to the taskbar, you can see pin to taskbar, just drop it and it will open a completely dedicated window for it. As you see to the left, the Google image is there. That is the new home button. To the right, the home button is no longer there. You can just unpin IE from the taskbar now. And here is the new file explorer. At the top left you can see file and all the other tabs. When you click on file you can open a new window, delete history, get help and close. When you click on home you can see the new ribbon in Windows 8. You can do commands more easily with this. When you go to view, you can change how you see things and to have the new ribbon show all the time, just click on the arrow to the top right. Now when you go to the start screen, you can look for apps and right click it and pin to taskbar or start. Or open it in a new window, run it as administrator and open the file location. I'm going to pin media center and player. can easily organize your new pins and yeah that's it for this video if you watched part 1 and 2 thank you this has been brought to you by windows 8 tm hacks like comment and subscribe